Hey everyone, welcome back to Ashocity. So today I'm going to be doing my demo and review on the Revlon Paddle Brush Hair Dryer. And I am super excited to be doing this video. Um, I mentioned that I purchased it in a haul about a month ago. And I've used this twice since then. And you guys, I am absolutely in love with it. It's so amazing. So I want to show you guys how it works out for my hair. It absolutely does cut down on my drying time so, so, so much. And it's just all around easier to use than a hair dryer and a blow and a brush and, you know, everything else. So I'm just going to jump right into it and hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs>
so I probably look a little crazy right now but as you can see I have finished blow drying my hair it took me roughly 20 minutes which is amazing for me because it usually takes me about an hour to blow dry my hair because it's just so thick so yeah that is definitely a bonus it's a plus for me because it's it cuts down my drying time so so much so a couple things I wanted to mention um, you probably noticed that as I was blow drying my hair after I finished each section or let's say that like I finished the bottom half I undid or unclipped both the left and right side and kind of just brushed through it and I did that to, to make sure that I got my roots really well the only thing about this petal brush dryer I have to say is it's kind of hard to blow dry your roots or you just have to or you really have to pay attention to them like you want to make sure that you hold the heat there long enough to blow to get them dry otherwise they'll be damp once you move on to rest your hair you'll notice that you have damp spots so I did that at the end of each section and then once I actually finished all four sections I went through it which you probably saw again I went through it and just kind of blow dried under each um throughout my hair to make sure that I didn't have any damp spots and make sure that I really really got my roots well so that's the only thing about this is you want to make sure you get your roots really really well uh, oh yeah another thing I forgot to mention is that it does have um three settings it has a cool a low and a high I blow dried my hair on high because my hair is just super super thick like I mentioned it's thick I need the highest heating highest heat setting possible in most cases so I use a high but depending on your hair type and texture you may want to use one of the other settings so it does have a couple options like a normal blow dryer would so that's a definitely a plus and I also um I had heard some other people say that it's heavy and it's definitely not heavy to me it's really it's pretty lightweight it's yeah I mean, I mean I think it's a pretty good weight as far as being able to you know it's a blow dryer and I think it's it's not even he as heavy as my actual blow dryer so I think it's you know I think it's fine in my opinion so yeah it's it's really lightweight and it works really well and you guys I just I'm so in love with this thing it's it's amazing so I would definitely recommend the Revlon paddle brush air dryer air dryer hair dryer the Revlon paddle brush hair dryer I definitely will give it um, 10 stars I recommend it to anyone I feel like it definitely would help in your hair routine so yeah so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, if you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below if you have any questions or comments or anything like that. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one.